Hello, I'm Nick. Today I will show you how to create a responsive table using Figma's new grid tool. First, let's create a frame. Give it a size 640 by 640. In the layout section, click on the grid icon. By default, Figma creates 2 by 2 grid, but in our case, I will go with 6 by 6. We can also customize the horizontal and vertical gaps between blocks, but I will do it later in this video. The coolest thing about Figma Grid is that it snaps content. Create a rectangle and move it to the cell. The moment we drop it to the grid cell, it will fit naturally into the grid. We can easily change the size of the object, or even move it from one place to another without worrying that we will break our design. Let's rename our frame to Table. And now we need to create two components. First, we will create a header for our table. To do that, I will choose Text and type Header. Select text object and add it to outer layout. I will also change the fill color of the header to black and text color to white. Give it a name, header, and create a component. Now I will create an instance of this component. I detach it because I want to create a body for the table. To make the content of the table different from the header, I will change the fill color of the container to white and text color to black. Let's size the body exactly like the header. Double check that alignment is set to its center, both vertically and horizontally. Create a body component. Navigate to the Assets tab. You should see the header and body components. Drag and drop the header to the canvas and move it to the table frame with our grid. The header snaps to the first cell. Do the same with the body component. Perfect. Now let's quickly refine our layout. First, we should get rid of extra vertical space. To do that, I will simply resize the frame vertically. As you can see, our grid adapts to this change automatically. Next, I want to resize the header and body elements. I want to ensure that they both fit the entire cell. You can see that we have extra space between columns and rows. So, what I will do next is set both horizontal and vertical gap to zero. Once I do that, I will see that we still have extra vertical space, and we can fix it by resizing the frame vertically. Once we do that, we can use the magic of Figma Grid and simply copy and paste elements to the cells. Select Header and press Command C and Command V. Do the same with the body. Let's also change the default text in the header. Select all headers. Click Actions and choose Rewrite this. Type a prompt. Change to Attributes of Employee. Great. Now let's select the body text in the first column and complete the same operation. Type a prompt. Change to the first name. We have our table now and it's fully responsive. And the great thing is that we can easily modify it if we decide to add more content. For example, if I need to add another column, I simply click on Grid and add another column. The content can be easily copied to this new column, both header and body text. Note that when I copy and paste the body cell, it pushes the cells that come after it. We can easily change the size of the table without worrying about breaking the table layout, both horizontally and vertically. Figma also allows you to set the size constraints for particular columns. For example, I can select the first column and set it width to 145. For the second column, I set the width to 125. And for the fourth column, I set it to 64. Now, when I resize the entire table, you will see that the first two columns are not moving because they have fixed widths. That's all. Let me know what you think about Figma Grid in the comments. Thank you.